Hi guys, welcome back. In this new video, we are going to keep working on the final project for our Python Free Crash course. Um, and um, as you might remember from the previous video, our application so far uh, does only three things. So if we run it, where it is, so if we run it, you see that the application asks us uh, to choose from option one to four and we implemented only up to the option three where we compress a file uh, but there is a bug that we know there is uh, because last time we tried and we found out that if we don't pass anything to the option uh, three when it asks us to choose a the name of the output file uh, it will return an error so let's see it in action so we choose the option three and now I am just going to press enter and the application let me move forward and asks me for the name of the file that I want to compress. So the file name is, so the file is inside the sample um, minus files folder. So sample, sample files forward slash and the name is insert the PDF so that's the file that I want to compress if I press enter now I should get a bug so I should see the error okay and the error is this one the file not found error because of course there is no file uh, that um, we did not specify any file, any output file. So the, uh, where is this line of uh, code? So this is the, um, the script that the program is trying to run, but when it reaches this point, so minus s output file, it doesn't find the name of the file um, where it needs to compress the original file that we gave to him. So this one, so it doesn't know where to compress this file. It doesn't have any um, name here, so it fails. And we also uh, call this uh, function, this method get size on the output file. But in this case also we have not specified anything. So that's why we see the error also here. So the get size returns an error because the uh, file uh, was not found so the first error that we face is this one because there is no output file um, so and the program doesn't know what to do uh, so let's uh, start by writing a couple of tests uh, I will start by writing this one first and then we can check uh, more test cases for our application like a basic test that checks the that we got the right output so the right output when we pass a, an output file or that our file is actually compressed we could write these three tests so let's start with the first and inside these the tests folder i have wrote is um, test underscore compress underscore pdf.pi file so I created this file and inside it there is the basic structure that we already know um, so we we write the shebang we write an import uh, we we import the unit test module then from the hub we import the compress underscore pdf so from our application we import this function because that's the unit that we want to test and then we import the sys module and the os module like we do always uh, probably one of these is not really useful but we will see in case we will delete it uh, so let's uh, let's write our first test so we could write so we need to check that our output file is not empty so we define a new function and say test not so output file not empty and then we use the self keyword and then in here 
we should write our first test. So the test uh, that we need to run, so let's start with the test case. So the test case is that we call our compress PDF function and it wants two parameters, so the output file and the file to compress. So let's simulate what we just did here uh, in the terminal when we didn't pass anything. So the output file is going to be empty and the file is going to be the same file that we tested before, so sample. So it's in this folder, sample minus files forward slash third dot pdf okay that's the file that we want to compress so let's pass this uh, two parameters inside the function so out file and then the file okay what we expect to see so the expected result It's going to be well if I don't pass anything uh, by default I want to see the same file name just with underscore um, compressed before the file extension so that should be something like that so let's run our assertion so self assert equal and we want to test test case and we want to pass the expected result in here so that should fail of course so uh, now we run our test So that's the way we run the test from the command line. So Python 3 minus M for the modular unit test. Um, and then the folder is tests. And then the name is test compress. Could run more than one test at a time, but I'm going to focus only on this one for now. So we should see a failure okay the file the test fails as we thought so we see of course the output file here is missing in this bit that's the command that the application will run and we didn't pass anything so it's going to compress this file into nothing so it's failing with the same error we we saw before Okay, no such file or directory empty. So that's the empty result that we passed. Okay, so let's make it pass. So we need to do a couple of things first. So of course this function, this test wants to see uh, the name of the output file uh, as the expected result. So First thing first, we should return from this function the output file so we can make the checks. So that should be uh, what we need to return. But before actually calling our script, we need to check if the user uh, just press enter and doesn't pass anything here. So the output file is empty. So the output file that the user passes is here. So we have this input uh, function that asks to the user to type an input file. So uh, we could use the split method. Right, let's uh, first check if the output file is empty. Okay, so if it's empty what we want to do is to analyze the file to compress name uh, the parameter so we can grab that and we can split it 
So let's try it before. So if we bring tires part split and then we use the file to compress. So now our application should just exit. So we should quit here when we run the test and we should see how it splits this one. So, okay, we got the error and we got the path and we have this uh, file name and that's fine so well, let's grab them so part and file name it's this one so we save uh, so that's a tool and we save it it's um, each of the element inside this variable so the first uh, one is the path so we create the path variable and then we follow with the file name variable and so we store the values of the tuples inside that okay so now we want to split also this one so we want to grab the file and the file name actually name of the file and the extension so i'm going to do the same thing but we use the split text so f and a e so f for file and e for extension and i'm going to say os but split text this time and file name should be what we pass so if we print f if we print part f and e for the extension then we exit and we run our test again so we go again the same error but this time we got the path, the name of the file and the extension. So that's fine. Okay, we are getting there. So now what we want to do is recreate a new file name. So output file. Let's override the value. Since it was empty, uh, we can override it and say that the file should be part forward slash the name so the f and then we want to add compress and then here we will just pass the file extension so we use the format method on the string and we say path and then we say the file name so it should be f this time and then we pass the e let's print what's inside the output file variable now and then exit and let's run our test again it's going to fail again but that's fine so we got the right part what we expect to see after we run it okay so that's fine actually I guess it's fine like that so we can now run the script and this was empty before and now it should have the content of this output file variable then we can call the command and do all the things that we do and then we return the output file so we should see this when we return the function so we can use it to compare if we have what we expect so here we say we expect to see this file name so and we returning it from here it should pass now so let's run our test again and see if it pass and that's fine now it's passing correctly we see this bit of text which is quite incorrect because it says that it compressed the file from 2020 uh, 
2217 which is bytes to 2373 which is quite larger than the previous one so unless we mistyped what we passed here so the out file seems bigger to me we need to fix this so it's quite unreadable I mean what, what are these values here doesn't make much sense so we should convert the bytes so that's in bytes and we should convert them and I want to see just something like that I have compressed the file and the file name here there should be file not here so we should have something like that so that's the name of the file that we have that we passed to the function at uh, it compressed so now uh, it says done I have compressed the file and the name of the file and let's say and you saved So this amount and we need to figure out how to make it work so out sides uh, we don't have that yet but it could be let's first check how to convert from bytes to megabytes and that's the formula so we need to divide the value by 1e plus 6 okay and let's do it so we have the source file file to compress and then we have the out file um, original file size and final final size that should be saved size saved size so we do that create a variable and this variable should contain so we need to divide one is plus six so that's what we need to and what we need to divide is the result of these two so we need to divide the original file size we need to first subtract the original file size which is in bytes so minus the final sides to see if we have actually saved something and we might have to round the final number so and that should move uh, that should transform the output of these sites in megabytes so let's say mb here let's run again our test and see if we got something different so it seems that we didn't save anything at all this time it's weird because let's delete some of the files that we don't need should actually compress this file and we should see quite of savings so let me see how big it is no that's quite small let me grab a bigger file I'll be back in a second 
I'm looking for a file, a PDF file, quite big, that we can compress. So that should be fine. So what we are going to do now is try again using this file which is bigger than the other one which was quite small and that's why it didn't work. So let's change the name here. So the file that we want to do is com Sarah. So that's the file that we want to compress and we should see same name with appended this compressed so let's run again and see if it works okay it says that it has compressed the file and we saved 0 0.05 megabytes and just run successfully let's see if actually we have saved something so the actual file size is quite smaller than the one before let's check uh, it's in the sample files so the file was this big where it is Corsair cert was three under forty two kilobytes and the final file that we have compressed is this one. So we have some saving. Okay, that's fine. So the function works correctly as we thought. Now what we what I wanna do is to round this number because it's quite hoggly as output so we have this long where it is so we have this long number and I want just the first two so if it didn't save anything it didn't save anything but at least I don't want to see all the four or five numbers so let's see if we can use There is a round function and we say two digits. Let's try again. It seems that it didn't work. Why? Why? Let's try again. And it's working okay. And that's fine. So our first test passed and uh, I'm happy with it. And let's see if we can quickly write uh, another test case for this one. So what we want to test now, um, we want to test that um, If I pass a name to the output file, it should give me the name of the file that I'm passing to it. And it should be, of course, equal to the final output file that the application returns. So it should be equal to that. Might be 
quite, quite useless as it does, but let's just try. Let's call it as just test basic. I'll move it up here in a minute. So that should be our first test. So I want to see if the test case of calling this function with the output file. So the output file at this time is going to be samples sample files forward slash. So the output file is gonna be third compress comp dot pdf so let's short keep it short so we have the output file we have the file that we want to compress and now what I want to check if it's if this expected result is equal to the output file actually that should be, I mean, the expected result is to see the output file. And let's try uh, cert equal test case and expected. So it should, of course, work because we have the output file here. Let's try again. Let me move this a bit up so you can see when I type. Okay, we've got two tests and both run successfully. So we've got two tests and they both pass. But so our first test is Okay, we got the uh, output file here. And the second time. Okay, if I delete this, both tests should fail. And in fact, they both fail. Of course, if the first fails, so we have the assertion error, none is not equal to this file name because we have none. We are not returning anything from calling the function, so we have none. And it expects to see this one, but of course it fails. So let's put it back and let's be happy for being able to pass this point. So that's fine. Okay, uh, both, uh, both the test cases were. So both working fine. And what we could do now is to add a new test and to check if the actual file was compressed. I'm not sure if that's, that makes much sense, but so what we could do, so we have added these uh, lines of code here that check the original file size and the final file size and we need to check if this one is smaller so so if the final one is smaller than the original one so let's just grab these two and try to do so that's the original file so we don't have any file to compress because we don't have any test case yet. So test case is equal to so 
So the test case is going to be always the same. So I'll call this function. We need the output file and the file to convert to a press. Okay, so that's uh, the that's the mm, test case. So we expect what now? Hmm. We want to see if this is the test case, it should be a different one. Final file is going to be this one. So when I call the compress underscore PDF function, I have a final file that the applicate the function returns and that I can use to um, check if it is smaller than the file that we passed. Test case. In this case, the test case, in this case, in this case, the test case should be something like Final file is smaller and file not like that, but the path size so as path. What was the name of the method? Get sides. Get. Get sides so the when i call this method on the final file the one that returns the um, compress underscore pdf function i have the sides of the file uh, that we have compressed and i should do the same thing on this file variable which is the um, original file that we compressed so should do the same so if i do that and I remove this bit i should get the test case and i want to do what, what do i expect expect to see true so I expect to see that this comparison is true, otherwise, I mean, it doesn't mean um, exactly that we failed, uh, but if our scope is to compress a file and the output file is bigger, we failed actually, so um, if we do self search through test case and expect it expect accept expect okay is it going to pass or not? Let's see. Fine. Okay. We have all uh, of all our tests are passing now, and. Of course, we could write more tests to make our function behave better because if we don't pass anything here, so we don't tell to the program to uh, compress anything, of course it's wrong 
uh, from it's a mistake that we make, but we should, of course, um, tell to our program what to do in that case. So if I call the app, no. If I call the app. and I press 3 and I don't specify anything here so by default it should append the compressed uh, word at the end of the file before the file extension but if I press enter again here we of course should not allow the user to move forward but we do so file not found error, of course, it doesn't know what file to compress because this it's running this uh, command, but the command here is empty, so it doesn't know what to do. And of course, since we did not pass anything to the first, um, when the application has, has to uh, type the output file name, so you see here that we have this underscore compressed as we instructed the program to do but the rest of the file is empty so we have no file extension after the compressed word or the name of the file before it so we should also write a test for um, for this edge case because I mean of course you will pass a name uh, but also if you make another mistake so you call again the application and point three and then here we, we don't pass anything and we say just the name of the file like let's grab this bit here without typing the actual file path so we do that we should get another error so file not found error uh, because there is no such file or directory so we should catch this error so we should try to call we should try to call this uh, command so we should try or catch the error and if we catch the error we should prompt the user again to type something so if both these two are empty the user needs to type something how could we do that so we could write a try except so and the except, exception that we want to listen for is this one as error we say here print the error and let's add something sorry And then we print the actual error so we can do that we move this down a bit so before running our actual command we try to run it and if it fails we print a message and find not found error if it fails because something is missing so it could be either the I mean if it, the output file miss it's missing it's fine but if the file to compress is missing it's not fine so we should prompt the user again to type it I'm just guessing now uh, so if I try to do that might not work of course I'm just trying out uh, where it is 
So let's first try to call it without doing anything and see if our error appears. So, um, and after that, I'm going to close and call for this video for now. And uh, we will move forward with this, uh, the, with the next steps in the next video. But for now, let's just clear the screen and then call again our application and say I want the option 3 I'm not going to pass to you anything and I'm going not to pass anything here as well and we don't see our error message find not found error okay So let's see why. Hmm, let's try to do all these things. And even return, actually. If it's not failing, let's see. Okay, that's quite better. I mean, it does what we hoped. So, um, it's prompt me again to select all the options from scratch again. So, we tried to run the, our application. We didn't type anything in when the app asked us to uh, choose a name of, for the output file or a name for the file to compress. And then we show this again, sorry, there is an error, and then error number two, no such file or a directory, because we said nothing. Okay, so let's try to input a wrong path, so that's fine. And let's grab the name of our file. And again, there is an error because no such file or directory. Let's type now three and the correct file path. Of course, it should work now. And that's fine. Okay, it compress our file and then it prompt us to choose again. So the program loop, the program loop works and it's asking again to choose from one to four uh, and we should change this because it, it stops at three but it's fine for now uh, let's just do it one two three or four okay so or uh, we could press q to exit and that's fine okay so that's it for today we wrote these three test cases we implemented more um, uh, all the uh, fixes that we needed to uh, apply to our compress and score function, so the point number three of our application. And we are even try, trying and catching uh, for failure, so if you forgot to pass something uh, we catch it and we say sorry there is an error and the program starts again uh, which is fine instead of crashing uh, the loop starts again uh, from from the beginning and so next time we will ro work on the final function for our application which is compress all PDF files, so it, what it's going to do is just compress all the files, all the PDF files that you find in a folder. So in this case, it will compress all the files except this one, we see, which is a JPEG uh, file. So we need to work on it next time. And thanks for watching. If you liked the video, uh, leave a like. If you have any question, just feel free uh, to drop a comment under the video. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.